Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, I believe, the final 64 team finals, with, uh, sponsored by DLA Piper, money on the line, absolutely glorious, um, we've got Jay Leave and his Wonder Chaos team, versus iRavel and his Wonder Chorf team, so these are two absolute monster teams going at it, um, obviously advantage to Jay Leave, but... Um, <gasps> The, this is the thing about Chorf, right? They, they they murder the like they, they murder elves and Skaven better than Chaos do, and then they can just dice the Chaos pretty easily, right? Three claw pom. He's got three claw pom. He can quite easily just dice the Chaos. And like, who cares if the Chaos have more strength and more guard? Like it doesn't matter if you don't have the players. Jay Lee's only got one claw pom at the end of the day. One claw pom versus three claw pom. I'm betting on the three claw pom, even without the strength and down. Oh, there's no bench. Oh shit. There's no bench. There's no bench for Jay Lee. Oh, wow. Arrival's got a bit. Yeah, okay, so 11 men versus 14. It's probably, no, it's not advantage, Jay Lee. But it, it's advantage on the. Like, his players are better, right? Look at this. Adge 5, Blodge. Strength 4, add 4, Blodge. Strength 5, Warrior with tens. Strength 5, Warrior with Claw Mighty. Like, the players that he's got are amazing, right? Amazing, oh, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, Daedal, no. <laughs> I don't want to even be doing this. But <laughs> now you've given the game away that I don't want to be doing it. <laughs> I just want to get it over with. I'm just, I'm just trying to survive. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of stat freaks, but yeah, only 11 players, and yeah, two of them were journeymen as well, wow, he got pounded in his last match, didn't he? Don't remember Jerry's last match, but um, yeah, this is the thing, like, his players are better, but it doesn't matter, you can still get two dice with Claw Pong, right, like this guy, so he's immediately moved him, you can get three dice, you can get two dice with Claw Pong, and, and so all the strength in the guard, in the world just doesn't matter versus claw pump does it as long as you actually pile on every time ah oh, what a loser that's funny that isn't it dog to the dog because you'd think in the weak in american time zones he would have uh he would have managed that but never mind it is a very Mr. Page-ish team, yeah. yeah. But you know, even if he had four reserves, right? If he had reserves now anyway, they'd be giving Arrival more inducements. That's the thing, as amazing as all these players are, like four amazing players with all the stats. Claw Pom is what matters. <laughs> it's such a stupid game. It's such a stupid game, honestly. Blood Bowl. <laughs> What's a Daedal can join in? Maybe. Don't, don't, don't. Americans are just terrible, aren't they? They're just terrible at Blood Bowl and. Uh... <laughs> terrible at most everything. <laughs> Never won Chalice. <laughs> Americans will never win Chalice. <laughs> yep, here we go. It gets the 2D with Claw Pong. Big brain player from my rival. You can tell he's better than Americans. Will he pile on? Yep. Oh, diced. <laughs> Oh no, it's not. He... <laughs> no, it's not. It's definitely Rim Baboon. <laughs> it's definitely what you think it is. Went back to bed. Fair enough. Man. Honestly, it's not. It's not worth it. Not to not not to dissuade people from watching the YouTube videos, <laughs> but it's not fucking worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. 
The Boomer doing his kill on impression. Way. Oh, three dice, claw pump on claw pump. Lovely hit. And gets the cars. So there you go. A very, a very good, a very good bit of play from J. Leave there. Where pretty much the only, like you know, pretty much the only skill in these games is uh, is getting to hit opponents piling on us with your piling on us. And he did manage that feat, so so good for him. <laughs> I'm not sure about putting his two best players on this claw pawn. Especially not about oh no, yeah, he's got no, he's not. He, he can just claw pawn this guy. This guy doesn't have guard. He can just put a player in here. I guess he doesn't want to put a player in. There. Well, he can put two players in. You can put three players here, right? You can put two guards in. Put three assists in and clop on. Oh, he's strength five. Okay. okay. Yeah, he could still do He could still do it if he wanted. But he's not. But he's got two clop on us. He's got two clop on us. So we'll with you. There you go. And another removal. The good thing about having multiple claw pommers, you can get one removed and it barely makes a difference. Yeah, okay, so having both of those does successfully zone him out to be fair with him on the strength five. I thought it was a, I thought it was two pieces for some reason. Which I know it doesn't make any sense. So I thought. I'm not sure if the dodge is worth it because he'd have to GFI as well. We'd need to get abreast of the uh, other two. Not sure it was worth it, I guess. Yeah, he can't get fouled because he's, he's got no no bench and he's already three players down, so I don't think he's going to foul you, so I think he'll just stay, stay down there. That killed him. Well, he's lost two claw pommers now, and this one is uh, gone for the next match as well if he gets through. Flip me. I mean, I like this foul a lot more if he's got three reserves. But um, maybe he thought it was desperation time and he had to do it, but still. All the more reason to not, not dodge this guy out last time, right? Because the other one's, gonna, the other one's exposed anyway. Now he's just got a G5 for no reason. He didn't need to, uh, Risk the AB break last time. Just got to say, Jay Lee's claw pumps rolled better than uh, Fire Apple's, but Fire Apple got a good roll there. So now both use their apple. Fire Apple did have three claw pumps and two of them have been cast. Yep. But he's still got the third. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Disgusterous. I'm about seven aside now, but I don't know. I mean, do you, do you go for the uh, do you go for the vampire play at some point? He does. Yep. <laughs> oh, nearly the edge five. Feels because of the rain, funnily enough, he would have he would have made the pick up if it wasn't for the rain. Yeah. Oh, 
thought that was quite nice by Jay Lee, to be honest. Timed it. Timed the, uh, you know, timed the ball sack decently. You know, Concentrate on banging. You know. Gonna do the 1D. Oof. If I know anything about Blood Bowl, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's where I wanted to go with the edge 5. Okay, he's doing it with the edge 4. That seems really weird when you've got an edge 5 that can pick up the ball. Like, the edge 4 could have punched and he catches it. The edge 4 could, he could have punched. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I mean, I'd like pretty much everything he'd done to then, but... This guy can punch him with the... He put the assist in to punch him, right? And he, he put him in the assist, so I don't really like where he's putting him. But then I guess if you at least push him, then that gives you the two, two, that through there, right? So like one, two, three, four. And three. I guess he wanted it to be carrying on the strength four. More than strength three with him having break tackle. But... Um, you got it, you know, in the rain, you've got to give yourself the best chance, right? And, and go for the edge five recovery. You tink. But yeah, just casual six plus court. Easy. And now there's hardly any players left for J leave. Well, can just run forward. I think you have to. In the rain. Like, there's obviously upside to getting it on the strength 4, obviously. Like, big, big upside, right? Having it on the strength 4 instead of the strength 3, when he's got bulls that can just 2D you. And it means he can 2D the bulls back as well. Like, it's really good having it on the strength 4, actually. But in the rain. I feel like you have to go with the edge five. Oh shit, intercept! <laughs> nice edge five, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> What a prick for gore he was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Insane. I mean, it's pretty greedy uh, when you've got to make, what, two GFIs? Oh, three. Got to make all three. Yeah, that's pretty shit. Revo. I don't want it! <laughs> a six plus catch! A six plus intercept and a double one GFI! down a lot of quality obviously losing two claw pumps but J Leave is down <laughs> a lot <laughs> seven men staring down the barrel of a 1-0 loss I 
If he'd had three beast men in reserve, he wouldn't be down that much quality, right? Warrior. The match fight is good, but. Yeah, so one out of six KOs, right? Because. No, I think he got two. I think he made two KOs. Yeah, he made two. Yeah, and there were three pluses because of the bird. So two out of five. Which is like, no, it's only two out of three, five or three out of five, right? It's both average. And then. Three plus Earth towards two out of two, so. Blue touchback. But I mean, I'm sure it'll feel bad for Jay Lee, of course, because it could have easily been three back for him and one back for him. Or even four back for him, could have happened. But LOSs could make a big difference. I like that instant count. Said in another one. Thank you, Pony. Fill up with the LOS here, right? Rather than uh, this blitz. He's not even making the blitz. That's why you probably should have just had him in the house. Pom, 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 pom. Lost equity. And they're not piling on front. It's the pow. Can he cast all three claw pommers? No, but still gone. It's huge. So his decision to not LOS him pays off in terms of casting, but he's got a bull, two bulls are in. Bad spots for Jerry. That's the problem, isn't it? When like when the game gets stretched like this, when you're down a few players, balls become amazing. So like this guy being down here is uh, an issue. Two, I guess he could blitz. No, he's not blitzing. Maybe he should have blitzed. Because he's in a pickle. Like, this is a pickle, isn't it? Maybe he's going to pass. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then pass to a warrior. A reader of a match three. Yeah, one is. Two match two warriors. I mean, with that blitz, that must be his player, right? 4-2, pass it. 
Because if you blitz this, where do you go afterwards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, double G if I go. I think I prefer just doing a four plus dodge, right? Because then you've got the dodge on it. I think I'm pretty sure the four two is going to be better overall odds. And um, then all these J fives and stuff with having one having an inbuilt reroll. I'm sure, I'm sure the four two is better, even though it's giving you a straight up seventy five percent, like twenty five percent fail. I'm sure the fact that you've got the skill reroll on it, and you've got to make so many rolls, like with a pass and a catch and everything. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think I haven't done the maths. But my inclination is that the uh, Fortress is just going to be the best. Didn't let his bulls touch. Yep, that's a good point. Dog to the dog. With a uh, pursuit of both bulls. Oh, now you can get tentacles on the bull. That's nice, isn't it? Oh! Right, and he hasn't got guard either. I mean, it's okay, removal, isn't it? But. Do just guard him and base the ball. I know he's got the assist in. Tries to. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's no guard, so he cancels that assist. Cancels both assists and goes in for the 2D. Interesting. Well, there you go. Made all the rolls to get the 2D on the ball. thing is, bulls are really good. And these warriors being edge 2 really sucks now. Like if he isn't edge 2, you just, you just dodge him and get him to do I guess you've got the edge for him. Just, just two One, two, three. What? 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 What the fuck are you doing, Jilly? What the fuck are you doing? Interesting decision by Jay Leaf to just throw the game on turn 13. Like it was still, it was still nip and tuck then, wasn't it? That was still like it was still up in the air because he's got this vampire who had two dice in the ball easily, but just didn't take them. Or he could have like put that guard in and then maybe he's running around with a claw plum, but that seems terrible. I just think he just wanted to blitz with a claw plum, but did he not realise he was about to lose? <laughs> Like, yeah, and he could have won, right? If he hits the ball, if he gets the ball down, maybe he can win. But instead he just chooses definitely lose. Not what I would have done. Who can say it instead of that? Now he's just choosing to do this hit instead of like, even then, right? Like dodging and double G, if I'm one being the ball is better than this inconsequential hit. Oh, tentacles. 
fails, fails, dies. It's moment to shine and it fails. He can, uh, he can tentacles. The air uh, bull. Double GFI to tentacles the bull. And I mean, he's made so many removals now that uh, if it gets to overtime, death there. What, what kind of one was it? I, I struggle to get excited about uh, hub or death. Oh, don't follow! Oh no. Follows up here. <laughs> I was like, what? But there's no way to, uh, there's no one, for, there's no other players. <laughs> there's no other players. I was thinking it would give up a chain, but there's just literally no other players. <laughs> <laughs> there's just literally no other players. So, uh, so getting on. Oh. Tentacles? Oh, he re rolls the tentacles. Team re rolls on the tentacles, which he couldn't do in the new rules, even though it would be less like. It would be more likely to escape the tentacles. He couldn't use a re roll. So, in these situations. The new tentacles would have been better. There you go. Super interesting. Yeah, that was a weird brain fart that turn where he just didn't go for the ball. He had to go for the ball. Oh, he had to go for the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it all started with the intercept, didn't it? You know, like if that is an intercept, he's probably 1 0 up. And then if this goes to overtime. Well, there's seven versus eight. Like, he got really lucky on the removals to say that he didn't have any bench at all. He got super lucky on removals. And he had one Clawpummer versus three. He got so lucky, J Lee. But uh, apart from the crucial intercept, and. Uh, And yeah, the turn, yeah, the, the turn 13, yeah, that was, whoa, that was, just, you just can't make those mistakes, I mean, that's why Blood Bowl's like a tough game, right, because you can play 15 turns of perfect Blood Bowl, I'm not saying Jaylee's Blood Bowl was perfect, but like, it could have been, <laughs> right, and then that one, that one effed up turn can cost you the game, can't it? Brilliant. Yeah, and the pick up on edge five, yeah. yeah. But like, it's funny, isn't it, how Blood Bowl works like that? It's, like, no one plays close to perfect at all anyway. But people can play fine for like 14 turns, and then the two mistakes they make just get punished. But their opponent can make like six mistakes and none of them get punished. Like, it's like a mistake every turn. Your opponent can make 16 mistakes every turn. But then your your one mistake can still cost you the game and stuff. Really weird. Funny old game. Well, who knows? Maybe if he'd had a bench, he would have done better. But <laughs> um, really, uh, that was a really, really bad turn. Mid eight removals. <laughs> Can't ask for much more than that. <laughs> eight to two on the removals game. With one claw pump versus three. So yeah, wow. Wow. Made more AV breaks and lost. Unbelievable. The dimmy coefficient. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Dog the Dog? It's funny. But Jaylee's team was better. The first 11 was better, but it was the fact he didn't have any reserves, wasn't it? Made it not such favourite. And, you know, three claw has made it really easy. Really easy to uh, do. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's five down. Did. He started He started four down, but he made, he made two rules instantly. Um, Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget. Uh, 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 Commiserations to Jay Lee, congratulations to Aaron. Thanks for watching, everybody.
don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.